Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration of the FX Algo Trader Signal Service. Firstly, let's just set the scene here. This is not a service which is designed to send inexperienced traders um, sort of magical signals which are going to give you perfect entries into the into markets. What what this is is a signal service designed for traders who know what they're doing to set very detailed custom criteria for entry requirements which meets their trading methodology. So that's not to say that we're not going to supply some templated signal profiles which have back tested statistically favorably but essentially this is a tool rather than some kind of a spoon-fed signal service where you know traders are simply just going to jump on the, someone else's bandwagon. So we're, this is really empowering the trader to define exactly uh, the entry criteria which meets their trading plan and so to automate that and be notified by email when the appropriate entry conditions are met and this the idea behind this is really to allow traders to kind of take their foot off the gas and step away from markets and and simply let the market come to you when the appropriate entry conditions are met and from experience that seems to be you know one of the best ways to to make money trading don't chase the market let the market come to you and be patient and this is one of the major problems people start trading they you know fall in love with the idea of making easy money and they then overdo it by spending hours and hours and hours sitting in front of the screen watching charts go all over the place lots of indicators and so on and so forth and in the end they force the trade because they get bored and they want to be in the market to have the thrill and ultimately that's where you lose your cash so that's why we, we develop this service um, what it is is it allows you to track multiple asset classes at the moment we are we are basically monitoring foreign exchange majors, foreign exchange crosses, commodities and indices but we're going to add the stock universe uh, through the CFD um, assets. Okay what um, I'll do here is so this is the main active signals page and you can see here we've got several different predefined signals we have set up previously so this one for the Aussie dollar we're filtering on two conditions which is a high low break that's the first condition and we're looking for basically the bid price to be higher than the weekly high and the second condition we're looking for the bid price to be greater than two this is just a fictitious example of course um, down here this, this sterling or cable example uh, we've got a bid an ADX filter and again an H hold break let's not talk through these in any detail because these are just basically kind of set up for testing so what I'm going to do is delete these from the main active signals page and let's start from scratch so okay first of all we can change our email address that we get our, our signal sent to very easily by just clicking the change email address when you want to add a new signal click add new signal takes you to the add new signal page select your asset class so let's say for example we're looking at forex majors let's keep it simple go for euro dollar and we're going to look at a pure price scenario to start with. You can see here the page is rendering the live data for the current euro bid price. So we've got one spot 3249. Let's say we're looking for a good short entry. Obviously, when you set these signals up, you're going to be need to need to start factoring on what the market is doing. So let's just have a quick look at the euro dollar, which I think is correcting a little bit. So maybe setting up for a good short entry possibly so this has a little look okay so we're at 132.46 so we're using, going to use a fast stochastic crossover and we're going to use a shorter time frame say 15 minutes and we're going to look for this stochastic, stochastic cross up we're going to also base our fast stochastic on a value so at the moment that's 42 on the 15 minute chart I want to basically get into this trade if the stochastic is less than say 20. So going back to our chart, 
find set a stochastic oscillator, far stochastic, on this chart. Let's have a look what it's doing on the 15 minute. Yeah, that may that may work. So, but also we can start factoring in other things such as intraday pivots. So if we look at our daily pivots for the euro dollar today, we can see we've got a central pivot at around 132.31. So what we could do is say, right, well let's see if we get any support around that pivot. So on our bid, let's say we want to be alerted when the bid is less than the central pivot. And that is not a bad start. So when we submit those settings to the server, you can see what's happened here. We've got the server has automatically calculated the central pivot value for the for the day, which is 3231, which let's just check coincides perfectly with our chart. And we also have our other stochastic, fast stochastic setting set up on the 15 minute crossing up and we're also being alerted when the stochastic on the 15 minute is less than 20. This is a pretty short term example I'm talking about here but obviously the power in, in using a, a signal service is letting the market come to you on the longer time frames you know being very particular about your entry looking for weakness looking for strength but on the longer time frames that's where the money is made so that is a very quick example of how we can set up a, a signal. If you want to edit the signal, just click the edit button and it takes you to another screen and you can make any changes you want to these parameters, add notes, so test, etc. And that's now reflected in the notes section on the active signals page. So there you go, that's sort of a quick overview. Um, we've put in quite a lot of new functionality to the system so some of the new stuff is things like 20 and 200 day or 200 SMA crossovers you've got Bollinger bands where you can filter on upper band tags uh, low band tags or closes above or below the band uh, you can obviously set those based on any time frame you like it's using a standard Bollinger band set up with default options you can look at the high low breaks above yesterday's high last week's high, last month's high, below yesterday's low, last week's low and last month's low. And we've also got volume, we can monitor the volume on any time frame, looking for percentage change. And you can see if this value represents a 20, so on the hourly, currently we're minus 26% of the typical hourly volume, the average hourly volume. So um, this is quite interesting because if you want to, you can use this to actually look for volatility increases in the market. So you can use a simple percentage change filter on tick volume to be notified when the market really picks up and there's something behind uh, behind it, such as a news release or um, geopolitical event, etc. So there you go, very quick overview. Um, we're going to be constantly adding functionality and we're going to increase the universe of assets available so as I mentioned previously CFD uh, stock data is going to come in imminently so thank you very much for listening if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me that's info at fxargotrader.com